Guess what? You're pregnant? Bubble. Bubble. Bubbles. Hello guys, today I have some not so good news. I don't think I told you guys exactly what's been happening to Choco since the last time I updated you guys. We had just gotten him back from the vet. He was acting better, he was getting healthier, but he was acting really strange. Like he would keep bumping into the walls, he wouldn't eat still. He stopped shaking, he stopped shivering, but he was just really acting so weird. We would continually syringe feed him, but you know, he just became really angry. He would start biting and barking at us. And then strangely, this one morning, it was 6 a.m. and I could hear Choco crying. I'm like, what, where is that coming from? So I kept looking for him. Actually, we all kept looking for him and we couldn't find him anywhere. Turns out he was in the pool. He fell in the pool, but don't worry. There was no water in the pool. It's not actually the pool. It's kind of like the drainage of the pool. There was no water there. It's so mind baffling why he fell in. Like he knows this house inside and out. He's been here for so long. He always walks that path. He's never fallen in. And then suddenly, parang di niya nakikita. So I told Doc Seivert, who is his veterinarian from Kaminade Pet, I'm like, Doc, you know what? I think I finally found out what's going on with Choco. I think he's blind because, you know, this and this and this happened. And so Doc Seivert was like, you know what? Bring him back in. Let's check him again. So again, maybe round three of all the CBC, the x-rays and everything, and he's completely fine. But Doc Seivert checked for his blindness. I think he flashed a flashlight in his eyes and his pupils dilated. So kind of good news, Deba. I was really hopeful. It means that he was still light sensitive at some point. But Doc Seivert said, don't get your hopes up because if he's not completely blind now, he will be eventually and there's no cure for it. And then he advised us na, you know, since Choco's disposition is really kind of naughty and aggressive, he told me to really keep Choco away from the kids, which has been really, really difficult for us because, syempre, you know, we love playing and spending time with the dogs and Choco being left out is really painful to see. And also Scotty asking me if he can play with Choco and me having to say no was also really difficult. So we have just been treating Choco as kind of like a dog with disabilities, kind of like a, a special needs dog here at home. We've been syringe feeding him three times a day. We've been so mindful of where he is, you know, really treating him as if kind of like a doggy hospital. Siya. Recently, he's really gotten super aggressive. Na it's hard for us to feed him now because he would bite us. Even if, you know, he's just lounging and we'll touch him, he'll bite now. And... I think it's come to a point na hindi na talaga healthy for Choco to be here, especially since he's dangerous na to the kids. And I really also feel bad that we can't be the best doggy parents for him that we can be since I have to be with the kids all the time and he has to be distant from us. So we've come to this conclusion, finally and unfortunately, that we are going to have to rehome Choco and the new adoptive parents of Choco are actually going to pick him up already. Earlier, before I decided to film this, I was just talking to Scotty and he told me, No mom, but he's my dog, he's my pet. And that was just so difficult. That conversation was so hard to have. I told him, love, I know that he's your pet, but you know, it, it's very dangerous now for you to be with him because he's gotten aggressive, he, will, he might bite you. It's just been hard lately, which is why I haven't been talking a lot about it. I think dog moms will know. <laughs> but yeah, something that we just have to go through, I guess. <laughs> Say goodbye na to your baby daddy. Say goodbye na Sky. You just say goodbye, because Choco will go na. Are you gonna miss him? Yeah.
soccer mom mode. Waiting for Scotty Boo. I'm taking him to school today. He actually hasn't been to school or his playgroup since March. He's been absent for so long. But I think just for this week and last week, he was really excited to go, which is so weird. So I'm like taking this opportunity, yes, to get him back in the groove. After I drop him off at school, I'm gonna take Sky to the vet. And the reason why is because I think she's pregnant. I know. I know. I don't want it to happen because... You guys remember the last time Sky was pregnant. It really was not a good experience. I was so heartbroken then because the puppy didn't make it and Sky seemed like she had such a hard time. So hearing that she might be pregnant now is really masakit sa akin. Actually guys, our angels caught Choco and Sky meeting. <sighs> and they weren't able to do anything about it because when they saw, it was done. So one month has passed. It's about 43 days exactly now. We're gonna go to Kamen de Pet to see if she actually is pregnant. Everybody at home thinks she is because her nipples have gotten bigger, her stomach has gotten bigger, but she's not lethargic or anything. She's still the happy bubbly sky, so I don't know. We'll see. Scotty Boo is taking so long. I don't know what he's doing, but it's really hot here, so I'm gonna go ahead and spray this. I always have this in my bag. You guys have seen me use it before. It's a toner, serum, mist, and oil in one. So you gotta shake it up because it kind of separates. And then... I love it because it gives you the super fine mist there. When it sprays all over your face, it's not super oily. Like, sakto lang talaga siya. And it's super refreshing too. So you can see that that spray instantly adds a glow to my face. Super fine ng mist niya. So when it sprays on, it applies so evenly. Usually what I do is, I'll put sunblock, I'll rush to the car, apply powder, and then I'll just spray this on. And it feels like a really quick and easy shortcut. Instead of putting highlighter and bronzer and contour and all of those fine powders that make your face look like it's skin but still covered. I just put like a thick powder and spray this on and then instantly I'm doing my face. That's been my quick mommy secret, mommy routine. So I have it with me all the time and I really, really like it. Anyway, this is my mom outfit. My soccer mom outfit. I got this hat when I was with Hubs um, in Hong Kong and Scotty was napping, which was the only time that we were able to shop. So this is the only thing that I was able to buy in that trip. It is the Frankie Shop cap. And I've been following the Frankie Shop for so long on Instagram. So seeing something on the shelves that is from something that you followed online is really cool. So I decided to get it. And then just your basic tank top jeans. These jeans are one of my favorites. I can't believe I'm showing you in the car, but they're my favorites. Actually, let me step out to show you guys. It's just a little bit noisy outside. All right, so this is the look. I really, really like these jeans because they are a little bit more low-waisted. Usually, my jeans end up here, but these ones are a little lower, which makes the fit a little bit more current, and they're baggy too. Ta -da! This is also an oldie but a goodie. I got it so long ago. I think maybe almost 10 years ago. It's from APC. I got it in Paris when I went with my sister Jack. And I really like it because it's so classic and easy. Fits my life. I love it. You know what? I'm going to go check up on Scotty inside because he's taking a long time. Let's go. Oh, hi there. Hi. Hi. Mommy's wearing a hat. Here. Doop. Wow. Scotty said. Yes. Uh, we will go to America. Why are we going to America? Scotty's right over here, but he's naked. I can't show you guys. To, to go to the monster truck stadium. Yeah, he's been telling me that you told him he's big enough already. I said he, he's almost big enough. So today, he's showing me that he can... Lego on him uh, on his <gasps> own. Really? Go show me. Faster. We're gonna be late. Yes. We're gonna be late for America. <laughs> <laughs> late for America, Dad. Hi, he has this obsession with going to America because he thinks Blippi and all the monster trucks are there. You're going along by yourself. The gate's just there. What's your name? <laughs> Hi, Ning Klingy. I'll pick you up, my dear. You've kissed my 
Enjoy, play, have fun. I love you. I love you. Kiss, dog, dog. kiss, kiss, mama. Kiss, kiss. Love you. Even without pregnancy test, we feel like Oh no, that's what everybody says actually. Yes. Guess what? Guess what? What? Guess. Guess what? I don't want. Where did I come from? You're pregnant. Sky is pregnant. <laughs> See Sky, the eye pregnant. Oh no! So what do we do? What do you mean? Oh no! You thought it was me? Yeah. The hell? Yeah. Dog cyber was like. Expect four to six puppies. <laughs> Here we go again, Roms. Here yep. we go again. Yep. All right, so I'm back home and look what just arrived. It says do not bend. Let's open it up together. Wow. This is really lovely. It's by Anthea Maxine. And she sent over this little letter. Oh, so cute. Look at all these. So nice. Dear Chris and Slater, I hope your family are doing well. I'm ready to express my heartfelt gratitude and admiration as your biggest fan. Wow. From the very first video I watched, from the both of you, I already knew that there was something special about your content. Your passion and authenticity have inspired me in ways that words cannot describe. Oh, Andrea Limdi, thank you so much. This is so sweet. I love it. I'm gonna display this in her house. Bye, love. Bubble, Bubble. Bubble yeah. Hi. Bubble. Mommy blue, mommy blue bubbles for you. Ready? Set. Oi, it's here, Oi. Look. Wow. Again. Wow. Oh. Tup, 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 Here for you to buto. Here. Burst it. Burst it. Get it. Go, Chef. Go, Chef. Wow. Good job. Okay. Can you walk to mom? Okay. Good job. Good job. Good job. Whoa. Come here. Mama's here. Oi. Try again. There you go, honey. Good job. Good job. My love. Yeah. So, four tablespoons of water we're going to add. Yeah, yeah, we'll hold it for you. Four tablespoons of water. One, two, three, four. Two tablespoons of dish soap. Ah. Oh, yeah, no. oh, no, no, no. Okay, mix it, babe. Mix it. Kuto, kuto. And then we will add one tablespoon of sugar. Sorry, it's a little bit messy, babe. Then we'll use this to mix. Oops, we need to mix it properly first. Mommy's magical bubbles. 
excited. She popped the bubble. Pop, oh, pop. There. Pop. Oh. Pop, pop. There, there, there. Tip. Slow pala. Tap. 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 Hey, I did it! I did it! I did it! I did it, Dad! Tap. 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 Oh, see, see, see! Tap. Tap. It's supposed to jump. Ito ngayon, walang magawa sa buhay. Wait, wait, wait. I need to impress my children. Bye-bye. Good luck. Bye-bye. Nagawa na ko na nasab. Hoy! Puro na nalaway ako. I love you, Sabi. This is his favorite tumbler ever. Right, Sab? This one and the green oh. one. Yeah. Go drink, Seb. Drink. <laughs> oh, Sebby. I love you so much. I feel like Sebby's face still keeps changing. Especially with his hairstyle. Like, <laughs> See? It's different again. Baby. <laughs> Can Mama drink? <laughs> What are we going to name Sky's puppies? I hear them moving. You hear them moving? Yeah. I don't know how many there are just yet, but Dr. Seifert said maybe four or maybe even six puppies. That's so plenty. The kids are finally asleep and we are getting ready because we are going to support Hubs. He told me that he wanted me to go to his little event, like a training session, something for this new project that he's been working so hard on. Actually, I'm really proud of him and I think he knows that because sobrang creative talaga ni Slater and really, it's amazing how he just has this concept in his head that seems so unattainable and the next thing you know, it's real life. Like, that's the amazing thing about Hubs. He can really make things happen. So... I'm thinking either this very simple silk number, simple lang tayo ngayon because I don't want to steal anyone's thunder. I don't want to go up there looking like I'm attending an event. It's not even my event. I'm just there to support. Wala naman akong role. And obviously, it's an all of bonito look. <laughs> we are starting off with these wide leg pants. So I think ganito lang. Super simple look. What do you guys think? I tuck this in. Cute na ba siya? To wear my rings. Wedding ring. Burlolo rings. Do we like this or is it a little bit too loose? Or if I wear it with a belt, shall we do a Fora Lepage belt? Like this? Or should we do this? Hermes belt here, like this. 
I feel like the pants need to be a little bit higher. They're a little bit loose on me. I don't know. Shall we do this belt? What's cool about this belt is it's adjustable, so it's so easy to just match it with any outfit. I feel like my pants need to be a little bit more high-waisted though, but let's see. I feel like I look a little too frumpy. You can see bag. Do we like it? Do we not? Okay, I've decided on this look. Switch the pants to something that looks really similar, but it's different. So it's a different kind of clasp. I think it goes just a teeny, teeny, tiny bit higher. So it doesn't look as slouchy. And then I'm just gonna fold a little bit of this so that it's higher up and not completely a long sleeve. I also chose my earrings, just going for an all silver to match the hardware on my belt. And there's a look. We are on the way to Hubs's event, working in the parking lot while my driver does me some errands. <laughs> Multitasking. Did you vlog today? Wow! I don't know. I forgot that I was vlogging midway. Did you vlog our event? A little bit of it. Congrats, love. Successful event. What are we gonna do now, Roms? What? Are you happy I supported you? He was talking with so much zest and passion. Yeah. Mm. I'm proud of you, Roms. Shall we reward ourselves with a nice round of... Netflix? Drive to Survive? Mm. Do it. Can you give me water first? <laughs> you know, please. You're the best husband ever. We had such a great time. Um, I was not able to take you guys with me the whole time because it was kind of like a private event of sorts and there were a lot of sensitive topics-ish. But Hubs and I um, came home immediately after that to say goodnight to the kiddos. And then we went out for our weekly date night. So we're trying this new thing where we go out on a date once a week. Just the two of us. No work, no kids, you know. Strengthen that wife and husband bond. Even though we were so tired. Like, syempre, pagod na pagod na siya. He just came from work. And I was also so exhausted from being out the whole day. We pushed ourselves. Because we were at a point where we were home now, we were saying goodnight to the kids. Should we just stay home and watch Netflix? We're so tired. But we persevered and went out and it was great. I didn't even record it because I just really wanted to be in that moment with Hubs. I think that's a great way to strengthen the bond. Ready. Wow! Destroyed. Your camera. Mm -hmm. Okay, I won't bring Didn't it. Get I'll just bring my phone. What are you doing, love? <laughs> what is this on our rug? Do you know what that is? It's no bear. It's what? A polar bear. It's a polar bear. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Out you go. Wet, wet. You're gonna go in the pool anyways. Go in, now, babe. Oh, you got to go Where's the tree? Sevi, where's the tree? Hi, tree. That's right. 
Look, that's the tree. Are you a bag, Sevi? Are you a bag? Queen of Sevi. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning everyone, quickly getting ready because we are gonna take the boys out for a little brunch date. As much as possible, but we're not working later, we really want to spend the day with the boys and have activities with them. This is a belt that I bought in Hong Kong, I wasn't able to show you guys, but it's from Celine. It's so cute, I really like it because my mom gave me a vintage version of this. I don't know what the brand was, but it was falling apart already because it was probably like 40 years old and this one looks exactly the same but it feels a lot sturdier so i feel like i can use this for another 40 years <laughs> anyway we're just gonna get ready to head to the restaurant i'm really excited to spend more time with the boys and later on today we also have a little pottery session i think it's from a brand from manila called bumi and ash and they've been doing a series of pop-ups here in cebu and they asked me if i wanted to do one here in the sky pod with a few of our friends so that's what we're going to be doing this afternoon i'm really excited i'm gonna bring my lovely big tote bag with me i'm obsessed with big bags at the moment maxi skirt and my hair is just a little bit straighter today Love ish. Yeah. Can you help Scotty do the pottery thingy? Okay. Great. So I can take videos of you guys. I'm the designated videographer. Catch, catch. Did you make a cup? Did you make that? Yeah. Are you sure? Yeah. Wow. Wow. Bugui ba? Okay. 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 Okay.
My little boy, so funny. So everybody is uh, doing a bit of pottery at the back and some kids are already swimming. It's so nice to start off our weekend like this. I'm so grateful for everybody for coming and kind of breaking our routine a little bit, you know, having friends over and seeing people doing an activity together as wholesome as this really helps. So I hope you guys have a happy weekend and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye! Eats my skin. You with my eyes still.